Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the effects of undersampling, otherwise it is called as aliasing, aliasing effect. Before we, you watch this video, already I have posted two other videos related to sampling, that is the proof of sampling theorem, it has two parts, part one it is deals with how you can represent a continuous time signal using its samples. Second part is how you can reconstruct or recover a continuous time signal using its samples. Please watch those videos before you coming to this video. Links for those videos is given in the description. Okay. Now we will continue this video. What is the effect of undersampling? We know that in the sampling theorem, according to sampling theorem, the sampling frequency should be twice the W. What is W? W is the maximum frequency. Maximum frequency of the signal that we are going to sample. Okay. A signal may have more than one sum of different signals. So, W is the maximum frequency of the uh, sampling signal. So, the sampling frequency should be two times the maximum frequency of the signal. Okay. Suppose if, if the this condition is not satisfied, if this condition is not satisfied, that is your sampling frequency is less than 2 W, then that is called aliasing the effect is called aliasing. This is called undersampling. Okay. If, if this condition is satisfied, that is Fs is equal to 2W means then it is uh, critical sampling. Okay. But according to sampling theorem, the Fs should be greater than or equal to 2W for satisfying recuperation, uh, recovering the signal. If you have more than 2W means you can get a well defined uh, uh, signal, but minimum it should be equal to 2W. Okay. Suppose it is not satisfied, then it is undersampling. What is the effect of undersampling? You can see the spectrum. The spectrum del uh, x del of f. x del of f is the frequency spectrum. Uh, sampled signal has been represented in. Suppose if you are going to sample this continuous time signal, then you will have the sampled signal like this. Okay. It is going to represent the continuous. This is the sampling, sampled signal of this continuous time signal. Okay. So, this is your, this is del of T. You can say del of, oh, sorry, x del of T. x del of T. And this is x del of F. This is the frequency domain representation of this particular sampled signal. Okay. So, if this condition is satisfied means we can represent the signal, sampled signal without any problem. Okay. So, this is the frequency spectrum. It, this is the speaker, frequency spectrum of the sampled signal. Okay. But if the condition is not satisfied, if the uh, sampling frequency is less than 2W, sampling frequency is less than 2W, then we are facing that aliasing effect. You can see, consider the spectrum, consider the spectrum, which is del of F, this is the del of F, this is the original signal, this is the uh, band limited signal. This is the original signal x of t and this is the transfer fusion of x of t. Fourier transform of x of t is x of f. Then this is the Fourier transform of your sampled signal. Okay. If the sampling is not properly done, then you will have the effect. See, here this is the frequency transformation of this uh, sample and this is frequency transformation of this sample 
this sample this is frequency transformation of this sample like this okay here in the under sampling case if you magnify this portion you will get like this if you magnify this portion if you magnify this portion you will get like this here the frequency frequencies from fs minus w fs minus w this is the part fs minus w to w here without any problem if you are sampling if the condition fs is equal to 2w is, uh, is uh, properly sampled means then you will get the original signal like this sorry it is no original signal. this is a sampled signal without any overlapping but this condition is not satisfied means then fs is less than 2w means there is a overlapping this is the overlapping because the samples are not uh, clearly defined two samples frequency spectrums are overlapping that is the thing suppose f s is greater than 2 w means you can tell me how will it be the spectrum the spectrums will be well clearly defined there is no touching even there is no touching of the edges of this uh, spectrum as well as there is a proper gap between the two spectrums so here you will not have any problem uh, to represent the uh, or you can say to recover the signals from its samples okay it is well and good if you are having fs is greater than 2w means well and good then minimum this conditions has to be satisfied then only you will not have any overlap like this okay So the high frequencies near W in X F minus F S overlap with low frequencies that is F S minus W. Okay. You can see this is X of F. So this is your X of F minus F S. This spectrum is X of F. This is X of F minus F. So, the high frequencies near W in X of F minus F, X of F minus F is overlapping with low frequencies in X of uh, F S minus W in X of F. Okay. This is X of F. So, both are overlapping. So, what is the definition of aliasing? when the high frequencies interferes with the low frequencies and appear as low frequencies then the phenomenon is called aliasing so here the high frequencies in the high frequency in x of fs is overlapping with the low frequencies in x of f low frequency in x of f so the high frequency interference with the low frequency and appear as a low frequency then is this effect is called aliasing so what are the effects of aliasing since high and low frequencies interfere with each other because of the distortion is generated you will not get the original continuous time signal you will may get some distortion in the signal okay because there is some overlapping in the frequency spectrum and original data you will lose so you cannot be properly recover the original signal from its samples okay so this uh, this is uh, this is called aliasing or this is called the effect of uh, under sampling okay so in the next video we will see Nyquist straight and Nyquist interval and some uh, example problems okay Thank you very much.